Okay, so I realize that the path points in this section are a little wonky. Um, I'll take you through them just to give you a sense of what the path actually is. Uh, so we go from this section to here, which actually we can delete. Um, I'll have to come back and do that to there. So we don't need the zooming in at this, that second level. And then the picture, which is good. And then down to the mentoring, which is fine. I'm not sure that we need that zoom in. That's number nine. got to come back to that. Um, but this zoom in is good. To here is fine to there, which seems a little weird, like that transition between here and there it takes, seems to take us outside of the frame. And so when I zoom, oops, when I'm just with my mouse zooming out, I realize, in fact, it is a whole other section, this leading and networking section. Um, what number is that? 12. Okay. So then from that little blurb, we move up. So it moves from number 12 up to 13, which is okay. That, that's acceptable. It's a little confusing to move upwards to show um, uh, the next thing in the stage, but it's okay. Um, but then from here, we jump way over to this other side of the screen, and that's really confusing. And then it continues with the examples, which is fine. But when you zoom out, I realize that, see if you've got this, these are just kind of hanging out here without any header, these two, but, but they really correspond with this section. So when I realized that, and we were kind of going zoom, 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 which is bad in Prezi. So what I want to do is combine, combine this leading and networking frame with these two that are hanging out over here. And of course, the spatial arrangement right now is really good because this one is sort of, you know, symmetrical, you know, g giving a, a nice um, symmetry to the page, but it's not working. So what I'm going to do is move the mentoring section, this whole group, over to the left to fill up this space and I'm going to take this leading and networking frame and I'm going to move it and put it linear so that I have, it won't be here, it'll actually be here. So I'll have one, two, three, something like that. Um, and then I'll try and fudge it so that there's not this empty gap of space over here. So maybe I'll do like one, two, three, something like that, which will have, um, which will make the paths, the directionality of the paths make more rhetorical sense. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Okay, thanks. Okay, so the previous um, video was sort of my thinking a lot about how I would change the path uh, points in that particular section of this Prezi to be um, uh, more rhetorically designed, I guess you might say. Um, and this short video is just a quick follow-up to say, okay, what did I actually do? Because I didn't do what I proposed to do, with some slight tweaks. All right. So I'm going to zoom over to this section since it was the one that I was working on. And uh, you'll see I did some of the things that I said I was going to do. Um, I moved the mentoring section, which had been over here, and I just shoved it stage left a bit. Um, and the mentoring bar was also in the middle, so I switched these two to make a more linear progressions. So it didn't have to go from middle to left to right. Actually, I think it was going middle to right to left, and then we jumped over to this section. So I just put it in a more linear progression because we didn't need all that jumping. So now it moves from mentoring to, oops, no, because I'm not in. Oh my God, I hate crazy. Okay. And I gotta go through. Ball has his little thing, which is really cute. Okay, so there we go. So I got rid of that other intermediate one you'll maybe, maybe have noticed. Okay, so mentoring, just to zoom in on that, which is still not sure we need, but whatever. And then to the screenshot, and then there, the chair picture isn't that important, so I skipped that. Um, okay, so then the major changes that I made were with this section. And I essentially just decided instead of going from top to bottom, 
which would have required me to um, resize and shrink this screenshot that we're about to head to. I, I went from the bottom up, which is somewhat counterintuitive when it comes to linear reading paths, because this thing is on a path um, that is linear. Um, but it you know messes with that a little bit by uh, giving us that, but also building you know that sense of building something one on top of the other. So maybe that that sort of structural metaphor is at work here. Um, and it also required less work on my part <laughs> and kept more with the original the author's original design voice of this piece. Okay, so now we just kind of make sure that we've got the header showing, which wasn't showing in the previous version, um, and then the next path is, wait, what did I just do? I hit the wrong button, sorry. Um, okay, so we go from here up to the screenshot, which we can see really well on my 15-inch MacBook. Hopefully it works on a 13-inch one as well. The assistant editors have, have checked that out already. And I have a typo that I still need to fix. Um, but then it goes to this blurb, and then up for the example, and then down. So we still get a little bit of zooming fuzzy, and the reason why I kept that sort of up-down motion is because when we get to the to the CV and the current um, the screenshot of the current projects, it is it, it's a transition. It's a visual transition between this email and this concept of how are we blowing up from the micro example of the email as a letter of invitation to publish something to the whole concept of um, Paul's work um, as represented through this file structure in the CV. And that sort of transition us, transitions us into the interview itself. So that's what I did um, in redesigning this little section. And I'm just going to go back to zoom out to show you one other little thing that I did sort of on a more macro scale. There will, had been a frame around this section, and I deleted that and ended up adding this whole background, which which had just been behind these two screenshots. And I took it out and took it down to show that this in itself was a group. And the fact, fact that the picture overlapped, I thought, was just a nice way to connect um, the entire section back to each other. Okay, cool. This has been a Kairos Cast short. For more from Kairos Cast, including our terms of use, please visit us at kairos.technorhetoric.net slash kairoscast.